Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica. My name is Kamala. Siri's on his way. Happy Tuesday. Ha, it's been a whole whirlwind Woo. since we saw you yesterday. Huh. Our little Bodhi stepped on a bee and we didn't notice that he did right away, but we did very quickly and when Siri saw the stinger, because he was chewing on his foot, um, he pulled it out and Bodhi immediately threw up and then he went to the bathroom on the ground and went into anaphylactic shock. And uh, Siri texted me, I was sitting outside and I came in and he was just chilling. And I picked him up and he was just kind of slumping and I looked at his gums and they were white as snow. And for those of you who have dogs, um, anytime your dog is going through something, always check their gums because if their gums are white or if they turn very black, there is an extreme problem. So we had to rush him to the emergency vet where he went into critical condition and he stayed there um, for, about seven hours. for about seven hours. They wanted to keep him for 24 to 36 hours and charge us thousands of dollars, but we consulted some other vets and they said that that was absolutely ludicrous, actually. And uh, they're, they're actually encouraging us to report this clinic to the veterinary board. It, it was a really, huh, it, it was scary. It was a really scary, scary experience. But Bodhi is here. He's happy. He's happy. He's healthy. feeling great. He's a little sensitive today, but we are so grateful. Um, we're yeah. so, so grateful. We are grateful for um, the emergency medicine and, and vets in general. But unfortunately, just like our current Western medical system, it is a, a fear-based system, and it is extremely extremely overpriced and um, they try to do anything and everything to get the bill higher and higher and we knew after a few hours that he was doing better because they said his vitals were back to normal one of his markers from his blood panel was a little high but his blood pressure was normal he was eating something and we just, we had to pretty much convince them to release him so we could have him. And uh, yeah, I mean, we still paid. We paid a good amount, and but we would do that for any of our dogs. And, uh, but it's hard anytime your dog children are going through something. I mean, any children, child, dog child, cat child, fur baby, even our fellow human. <laughs> um, it's hard. So yesterday was definitely uh, kind of a heavy day for both of us. Yeah. Um, any plans that we had really just went right out the window, and uh, we had to make sure little boy Bodhi was okay, and he is, and he's doing great. He's back to normal, and we are very grateful. Very and, grateful. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have pet insurance for Bella, and we were meaning to get it for Buddha and Bodhi, and we are now going to do that. But what we have is we have two beehives in our tree that unfortunately was trimmed incorrectly and died. And so we have two beehives in our tree. So right now what we're working on is ethically removing the trees from, or the bees from our tree because um, they are, some of them aren't well probably due to this whole environment. Who knows what's yeah. going on. Well, bees naturally just have a, and this is what the lady told me, they have like a one month to six week lifespan. Mm. And once once they hit that, they, they just die. Yeah. And That's they nice die, the way they thing. die is they're coming back to the nest. I mean, this is just what I've seen. And they just can't fly back up. And so they fall on the ground and this is actually not the first time Bodhi's been stung. No, and yes, it was a bee, Maya. Yeah, the very first time he was stung, I saw it happen. We were outside, same area. He stepped on it, and immediately his foot lifted up, and he was, like, not able to put his foot down, and I knew something happened. I mean, 
I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot anyways because as soon as the bees moved in, I knew this was going to be a hazard and I never dealt with it because nothing severe had happened so far. And we love bees. And yeah, and we, we love bees. We actually want to nurture them and cultivate them. but uh, Not from a tree. No, not from a tree in our backyard. And uh, <clears throat> But the first time Bodhi got stung, I literally saw it and was able to take the stinger out immediately, like within less than 30 seconds of him getting stung. And so he actually was fine that time. He, you know, it still was a little sore, but uh, this time, no reaction at all. yeah, I feel like the stinger could have been in anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes because it was right after we finished class, we went outside for a moment, I went inside, I started doing computer work, and then I just noticed Bodhi was just chewing on his foot, like, really intently and I know that something's always up if he's doing that so I looked at his foot I didn't see anything at first and then I noticed he was trying to jump up onto the pillow and when he was doing that he was doing the same thing where he was lifting his foot up like he didn't want to put his foot down something was hurting him and that's when I knew it was like oh something's in there let me take a closer look and then I saw just this like it didn't look like a stinger it just looked almost like a part of his hair but I was like, let me just, and I pulled it out, and there it was, it, on the end of it was this black hook bee stinger, and I was like, fuck, that is it. And literally the second I pulled it out is like when all of his severe symptoms happened, uh, like Kamala said, yeah. he just, he threw up all of his breakfast. And he, we could tell something was really, really yeah, wrong. Yeah, we defecated. And again, if you have a dog even if they've been stung before or if they get bit by a snake or what, anything happens that is shocking to their body, check their gums, check their heart rate. If their heart rate slows down, if their gums change color, gums should always be a nice, beautiful pink color. And um, unless your dog has naturally like black gums, which some do, but his gums, when I lifted up his little lip, they were white as snow. I should have and, taken and a, a photo of it. And his tongue was inflamed, yeah. and it was kind of like coming out of his mouth. And we're just like, oh, that's not good. Yeah. And we literally jumped, dropped everything. Forgot jumped. our mat. We forgot everything, yeah. which was interesting. Fortunately, the emergency vet, you couldn't even go in. They were bringing their yeah. techs out, and they grabbed him. And we sat there for two hours waiting for updates. Waiting, they, and we couldn't get updates. It was, it was, it was like... I think we were we, I think uh, we were just shaking. It was, yeah. it was terrifying. It, it put us both into shock. But again, also, if something like that happens, you have to move quickly. Yeah. If we would have waited any longer, he could his internal organs could have been damaged, and he could have actually stopped breathing, and it could have hurt his brain, his internal, everything. Yeah. So with your little fur babies, move as fa with all move quickly, but especially yeah. with the little dog. So. He is good. He is doing so well. We were able to convince the vet to um, let him go uh, on, you know, w with the, after talking to numerous other vets, you know, I've been a dog owner for about 25 years now, multiple dogs. And uh, so, yeah, it's really interesting, though, the, the amount they tried to charge us was insane. And it, it you know, we're just super blessed that we're in the position that we can that we can take care of it and and uh, but it's 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 really scary it's really a, yeah. a terrifying we're so grateful he's okay too and yeah. um, Vanita we are having our bees eth ethically removed they actually and I don't know if this is Oliver but they will not come and kill bees thank God and that's we would never do that because bees are so important for our food, <laughs> you know? Without bees, we actually would not survive. No. So we are, we're having them ethically removed, um, and I guess it's gonna be about a two week process to have yeah. them all, but we're figuring that out right now. Yeah, they're gonna come today. They slowly trap them, and they keep coming back, and they check the trap, and they get them, and then finally somehow the queen gets out, and then they relocate them and then we're gonna have to patch those holes up somehow make sure that they just don't reoccupy our tree because we should take the tree down because it's yeah, that's dead, a huge job i mean yeah. i know yeah but the unicorn that jumped out of the deck today is prosperity
Boom. Beautiful. So yeah, let's uh, let's drop in. Let's get shifted. Let's breathe. Let's be grateful for our lives, for everything that we have. Because you know, you always think in times like this. Well, things just could they get any worse? And they can. Things can always but get worse, and things can always get better. There were so many blessings in what happened yesterday, and that's what we are really focusing on: are all the blessings. Yeah, thank you for all of your messages. Oh, Vanita, I'm so sorry about your bunny. Yeah, emergency vet. If you take an emergency vet in, you, it's a thousand dollars as soon as you get there. Yes. Yeah. The minute that you walk, and they won't even look at your dog until you give them a thousand dollar deposit. So it's 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 that. It's it's spendy. So I'm <laughs> glad Prosperity jumped out of the deck. We'll see what that has to say. Yeah, and and also just on a note, you know. I felt myself, like Kamala said, we are fortunately in a good financial place right now, but there have been times where we haven't been yeah. in the best, and we've also had to take our dogs into the emergency vet, yeah. and one time it kind of wiped out our whole little savings yeah. that we had. and Boy dog. Yeah, and it was really heavy and depressing, and of course, you never want to justify saving your pet for money, but it, it is a moral question you have to ask yourself. And I felt myself going there a few times yesterday, and <laughs> after, what after does that mean? What going do you mean? to kind of like a heavier place around it, oh. even though I know that we are totally fine and we can cover it, but yesterday when I went home, I like couldn't shake that feeling. And finally, I just realized how fortunate and blessed we are, and instead of feeling heavy about it, I felt... I let myself, I flipped it, and I let myself feel really excited that we're able to cover it because that's why we have money, yeah. to be able to do things like this. And then I just started jumping up and down. And I was like, yay, all right, we got this, okay. And it switched everything, and it is just money. It's an energy exchange, and it's a flow. You know, We never want to let that define us. No, but now we need pet insurance. So Jenny posted in the comments, and... Yeah, I know. We Bella has pet insurance. We can get them on pet insurance. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so thank you for all your comments, everyone. We love you. We're so grateful for you. We're so grateful, Bodhi, and all of our dogs are well, that we are healthy and well, that it's a beautiful day, and that we get to practice with you all. Boom. So find a comfortable spot on your mat. And sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let's take a deep, deep inhale through the nose. Sigh it out. Oh. Ah. Another inhale. Sigh it out. Shake. Ah. Exhale, slowly bringing the hands to the center of the heart and chest. And as you're sitting here tall, breathing slow and deep, being so grateful for your breath, this life force moving through you every moment of the day, every breath, a gift of life. And just as you sit with your hands in front of your heart, just thinking about what brings you gratitude in this moment. And with the eyes closed, deepening the breath, listening to Bella's squeaky sound bath, I'm going to read the card that jumped out of the deck today, which is prosperity. All right. A gift of money is on its way. Woo! Your income is increasing. Woo! Manage your finances with love. This unicorn brings news of a financial blessing. A period of good fortune is opening up for you. If your flow of money has felt blocked recently, this is a sign that abundance is returning to your life. If you have been working towards an increase in your income, it's a sign that your breakthrough will be happening soon. Let go of any worry or impatience, as this will only slow down your supply. 
Instead, imagine the money you desire is already in your bank account and feel the way you would if you already had plenty to spend, save, and share. Let yourself feel relaxed, relieved, happy, grateful, and excited regardless of the numbers in front of you. Trust that these good feelings and positive expectations will help activate your prosperity more than any fear will. As you focus on your new financial reality, follow your guidance on taking action. Whether it's organizing your accounts, asking for a raise, or creating a new product in your business. Work on clearing any limiting blocks or beliefs about wealth so you can create a clear channel through which funds can manifest. The divine is your source of financial prosperity. It is time for you to open up your flow and receive. And I love that card. Changing my attitude around money happened for me about 15 years ago, and I just started to realize how abundant that we are. Everything that I really needed, I had, and there was, you know, if I ever want to go on a trip, if I ever want to go anywhere, I just, I instead of saying this is what I want to do, I just say this is where I'm going. And everything really falls into place. And don't get me wrong, like we work hard and we know that we are very deserving of that flow. And, you know, money is just energy. Let it come in, let it flow out. Anytime you're holding on to it, it's, that's coming from a place of lack. So really feeling that flow and focusing on your abundance, um, which is challenging for many, especially in this time. But believe, focus, find purpose, work, it is coming to you. Yeah, and a really good thing to do is when you think about money or any sort of prosperity and you're visualizing, working on manifesting, instead of thinking about it and having heavy negative or any other sort of downward emotions, you actually want to flip it and create positive emotions. So you're thinking about work, manifesting money, um, bringing prosperity into your life. Imagine as though you already have that and it's already coming into your life, but then also meet that with an emotion of love, joy, ecstasy, some sort of elevated emotion. That really is the secret of the secret, which is, you know, manifesting what you want. You need to, first and foremost, imagine as though you already have it, as though it's already with you, and then bring in that sensation of gratitude or an elevated emotion around it. And it takes practice, but that's how we do it. you got to stay in that flow. Boom. Yeah. All right. So, abundant people. Yes, and gratitude is so important. You know, when you receive money, thank it. You know, when you let it go, bless it, thank it. Let it flow, let it go, let it come in. Boom. Right. Let's get started. Let's get shifted. So, first timers, if you can, try to amplify the audio here so you can really hear our voices and get uh, all of these sounds that we are going to be making, creating, and sharing. Find a comfortable, quiet place in your room. We might have to take that from us a little. Sometimes. Bella's giving you all a squeak bath. A squeak bath. That's what she does. And uh, find a comfortable, quiet place where you can relax and drop in. We're going to do maybe 15 minutes of movement, 10 minutes of breathing, and... Another 10 minutes of sound bath or so. So probably the next 30 to 45 minutes, set this time aside. Make it distraction free if you can. Pamela just took away the squeaky from our squeak maker noise, squeak noise maker. Now let's begin. So find that comfortable cross-legged position where you can sit up nice and tall. Take the hands, rub them together. Close the eyes. Bring the palms into prayer position. Thumbs touch into the chest at the heart center. Through the nose, take a nice big deep inhale. Hold that breath full right at the top. And powerfully exhale. And again, big deep inhale. 
Hold the breath full right at the top. Squeeze navel, squeeze roulotte, sip it a little more. And powerfully exhale. Hold right at the bottom of the breath now. Feel this emptiness. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a nice big deep inhale. And now as you hold this breath in, right at the top, call in your intention. See it, feel it, define it, set it right now for your practice here in this moment. chin fold down into the chest. <clears throat> now take this moment to first and foremost honor yourself, your body, your physical body, your mental, emotional, spiritual state. Honor it all. <clears throat> and then send in gratitude to our beautiful earth, our home, all that she provides. We are so blessed, so grateful. And lastly, we share this love and gratitude with our teachers, mentors, and all of those that have shifted and shared with us throughout the years. What a blessing. Deep inhale. Sit tall, hold the breath in, and then exhale it all out. And <clears throat> Just walk the hands forward onto your mat. Stretch, stretch them as far forward as you can and just let the whole upper body begin to sway left and right. We're just getting some nice motion, some nice movement down into the lower spine. Imagine your spine is just like an accordion opening up with each breath and sinking deeper and deeper into the space with each exhale. Good. Keep that breath going. Just let your body gently rock right and left. Now we're going to take the hands, walk them over to the right, bring the nose in the direction of the knee, and just take three deep breaths as you feel the whole left side of your spine, torso, hips open up. Now walk the hands all the way over to the right the opposite rather and let the nose float in the direction of the knee reach the arms as far out as you can stretch lengthen and then coming back to center hands are gonna stretch down onto the mat we're gonna lift up into a tabletop position and here in tabletop we're gonna do the back, pop the booty, exhale round, inhale up, exhale round, inhale up, exhale round, really arch the spine, open up through the belly, tilt the chin up, exhale, round, curve the spine, good, let the breath come in and out of the nose if you can, but if you need to, you can also breathe in and out through the mouth. Let this breath flow with the movement. Inhale, exhale. Good. Right here in the beginning, allow yourself to get that full range of motion. But once you become comfortable, once you get used to this, you feel your body, your spine warming up, we invite you to increase the movement, increase the breath, and go at a nice, steady, brisk clip. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. breath. One minute. Good. 30 seconds. Pick up the pace. Cat cow. Here we go. 
here we go. Good, really flow, really move. Last little bit, 15. opposite direction. Curve, hold the breath out, curve the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the hips, five, four, three, two, one, deep inhale. Now with the breath held in, rotate the hips in one direction three times. And then go in the opposite direction. back to center exhale the breath out good and now we're <clears throat> gonna tuck the toes and lift the hips and press up into downward dog and then here in this position we just take long deep breaths and we're gonna hang out here for the next minute or so so just take your time spread those fingers wide lift the hips look down at the feet let your feet be just parallel to each other, about six to eight inches apart. Fingers spread wide, relax the shoulders, relax the head and neck, maybe shake out the head and neck a little bit. And now in this position, let your knees begin to bend one at a time. So bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight. And just keep going, keep flowing. Exhale, slowly lower that right foot down, right next to the left. Deep inhale here. Sigh it out. <sighs> now inhale, left leg reaches into the sky, all the way up. Noticing if it feels different on this side of your body, just observing. Maybe come up on the right toe. Slow, deep breaths. One more inhale. 
and exhale, bend the left knee, and let that left heel fold over to the right, spiraling the left hip up. Breathing here. One more inhale, and exhale, slowly lowering that left foot down. Pressing your heels down toward the ground, feeling the shoulders. Deep inhale here, and exhale, walking your feet all the way forward. Let's come into a forward fold on your mat. So as you fold forward, release the head, release the neck. You can bend your knees a little if you'd like. Take your feet hip width distance apart, clasp your elbows, and just bounce. Ah, bounce your body. Ah, let's do a little vocal release. So inhale, lifting part way up. And exhale. Bouncing it out. And again, inhale part way up. body just dangle and then nice and slow on an inhale bend your knees roll your body up shoulders round head is heaven Bella no all the way up bow no 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 that's not for you rolling all the way up to standing inhale arms stretch out and in Light back bend and exhale, hands come to your heart. Standing tall in mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet pressed down onto the earth, tucking your tailbone, breathing long and deep here. Slow deep breaths. position. Take a nice big inhale. Sweep the arms up. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Lift up halfway. Exhale. Fold down again. Inhale. Roll the spine up. And we're going to do some leg energizing squats here. So look down at the feet. Get your feet nice and wide about hips distance. A little wider than hips distance. Make sure they're both going to start here in this position. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to lower the hips down, push them back, and then inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good and go. And as you lower down, really feel these quads, the glutes, the navel engage. Imagine you're trying to sit on a bench right behind you. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. 30 seconds. Go. facing forward, feel the feet pressing down, <sighs> shoulders relaxed, lengthening through the crown of the head. We're actually going to do a little balance practice here, getting in the tree pose, but we have a few a sequence of steps that you can take to get into it and only go as far as you feel comfortable with. So what we're going to do is look down at the feet, we're going to go on the right foot first, 
press your weight into the right foot. Make sure that foot is pointing directly forward. Before we start balancing, imagine with your toes, you're gripping like an eagle claw into the earth. Now, take your hands out by your sides, maybe a foot and a half or so. Shift all your weight into your right foot and then stretch your left foot out. Imagine you're trying to touch the corner of your mat with your left toe, but lift it off the ground a few inches. Now, this is a great place to be just to practice this balance. You'll start to feel all the muscles in this right leg and the right side of your torso engage. And if you want a little more, go ahead, bend the left knee, bring that foot all the way up to the inner thigh, above the knee, and then take the hands and bring them to the heart center. Good, and again, this may be enough. Try to focus your gaze at one spot on the earth or the wall that's not moving. And then hands come above the head if you want to take it even one step further. Good. Long deep breaths. Three. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release that foot. Come all the way back down and just bounce it up and down. Shake, shake, bounce. Bounce, bounce. Shake it out, out. And now we're going to balance that out on the opposite side. So look down at the left foot. Press that foot down into the earth. Foot's pointing directly forward. Imagine you're gripping the earth with your toes. Hands come out to the sides. Stretch that right foot all the way out. Imagine you're trying to touch the outside corner of your mat. And you can just balance here. This is enough like to take it one step further, bend that right knee, bring the foot all the way up into the inner thigh, and now begin to breathe long and deep. Hands come either to the heart center, or you can bring them above the head all the way up. Three deep breaths. chin up. Inhale, center, and then exhale. Fold the chin down to the chest. And now begin to breathe long and deep. Maybe let the head and neck gently sway left and right. And then come back all the way up to center. And short time, begin breath of fire.
Good. Pump the navel. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, inhale, center, hold, and exhale, release. Lower the arms, lower the head, lower the legs. Turn your head to one side and just begin to breathe long and deep. Beautiful job. <sighs> Just feel your body melting, merging down, relaxing, releasing, surrendering. And then when you're ready, you're going to come rolling over onto your back. And we're going to do one final exercise. So coming onto your back, stretch the legs out. And your option, we're going to do leg lifts. And if you want to really push yourself, you can do two legs. Or if you want, just do one leg at a time. So if you do two legs, it's going to look like this. Inhale, legs up, 90 degrees. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, lower down. If it's one leg, you're alternating. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale down, good. Wherever you're at, just find your rhythm, find your flow, less than a minute. between two legs at a time and one leg at a time that is totally good we just have 30 seconds left so really go powerful breath last exercise before breath work you got it Thank you. 
pulling a blanket over yourself, do that. Maybe put a pillow underneath your legs. It's time to get comfy. And together, we'll take a really deep inhale through the nose. Hold this breath for three, two, one. Open the mouth.
the moment that you become aware that the only thing holding you back is a disbelief in your power or a lack of self-worth or the voice of you are not good enough, you kick your inner demon's ass and change everything forever and ever and never again will be who you were. Uh oh, thank you, said unicorn. Hmm. Feeling your power, your strength, your belief in yourself grow with every practice, every breath, every breakdown that leads to breakthroughs. Feeling grateful for your body, your mind, your spirit as you lay right here, right now. Let's come back into our physical bodies, wiggling our fingers and our toes. Rolling our wrists, rolling our ankles. Stretching your arms up and over your head. You are alive. Pull your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Give yourself a huge hug. And take a moment to tell yourself, I love you, or I am working on a deep love with you. I am enough. I am more than enough. Begin to rock up and down on your mat. Or if you'd like to, just simply roll to one side, the right or the left, and push yourself up into a comfortable seated position so we can close out our practice for today. Taking your time as you slowly bring yourself up. the eyes closed, sitting tall, bring the hands together in the center of the chest, rub the palms, fingers, knuckles, creating some friction, deep inhale, sigh it out, ah. let's take this, mo this first moment to give thanks and bless up our space, this space that holds you for practice and so many other things, so grateful. So just taking a moment to think about how much this space has held you, has kept you safe and well, has given back to you. Let's give some love to our spaces right now. Thinking of someone in your life, a person, a group of people, an animal, Take a moment to think about what it is that they're going through right now and what it is you could send them from the whole of your heart. Take a deep inhale, sip in a little more, and send it to them with love. Visualize them receiving it, feeling so grateful, bowing our chins to our chest. We honor this beautiful planet, Mama Gaia Pachamama. And as we bow to this planet, imagine surrounding it with a beautiful golden light. And this light is holding compassion, empathy, love, peace, healing, community, growth, awareness, holding any and everything that you feel this earth could use right now and all of the people on it, all of the beings, all of the plants, all of the elements. And from the heart, send this beautiful planet earth some love. And we bow to our teachers, our guides, our guardian angels, our ancestors, all those who have passed down potent lessons throughout our lives and even before we were here so that we may share them, learn from them, pass them on. So taking a moment to really give thanks and reverence to all those who came before us and have taught us so, so much. And last, bow to you. Your journey on this planet Earth is so unique. What is your story? How can you share it? You have medicine. 
that needs to be heard, that needs to be shared, bow to your body's health and ability to heal. Actually, let's bow to the health of our minds, bodies, and spirits. And just sitting here with our heads bowed, taking a moment to send yourself love, gratitude. Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Aho. Blessed be. Blessed be. Thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to join us for this quick shift. I hope you were able to make shift happen. Thank you, Siri, for teaching with me and being here. Thanks to all of our animals who are happy, healthy, and whole, blessing this space up with us. And have an amazing day today. Remember, gratitude is so important and really taking care of yourself so that you can take care of others. These classes are our gift to you. If you feel so called, you're welcome to make a donation. It is not required, but if you would like to, awesome, Amy, you can do so. Our PayPal is yogagalactica at gmail. Our Venmo is at yogagalactica. You can also help us out by sharing these videos on your page into any group that you think might love them. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and, of course, leave us messages. Um, aw. Hey, Bija. Good to hear from you and Jared, Amy, Maya, Jennifer, Mark, um, Eric. Uh, Vanita, Gretchen, Mike, Elena, hopefully I didn't miss anyone. We love you. We're so grateful for you. Enjoy this day. We will see you tomorrow at 11, 11 ish for another quick shift. All right. We one. love you guys. Have a great day. I'll post the card and I will post the reading. Thank you, Elena.